Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are working on the Audi once again. I'm super excited for this because I have a giant box. So obviously the thumbnail, you already know what it is. It's a ski box and I've always wanted one of these. I've only had ski and snowboard racks on the top of a car before. So super pumped to see how this goes. Um, this is the Inno Wedge 660. Looks pretty low profile, nice and aerodynamic. Apparently doesn't really make wind noise or anything under 100, so should be good. Um, hopefully it won't kill my fuel efficiency when you know going up snowboarding. So we're gonna open this guy up and see how it looks, see how many skis and snowboards we can put in it and mount it on top of the Audi. So let's get started. So like I said, it's the Inno Wedge 660 right there in gloss white, which fits six snowboards, eight skis, or two surfboards. Um, I think the largest ski you can get in here is, yeah, it's a 190 centimeter and you have to kind of put it diagonally, but I think normally you can fit a 180, um, not too bad. Looks really nice. And the gloss white is a great finish. I think it should match the car pretty well so I'm assuming all the hardware is inside so let's open her up and see what we got. Okay well the keys are actually taped right here to the side of it. That definitely threw me for a loop for a second. I was very confused but let's open this up. a little wobbly on the top with these hinges, but not bad. I like that it has hinges. That's good. Let's see what we got in here. So we got four of these in the little box that came with it right there. Um, these are mounts for the ski box and it's pretty cool the way they just work. This is just a lever and it'll clip on to your roof rails and should be good to go. I'm assuming these will slide into our ski box when we throw the box on top. So let's start mounting these up. All right, so step one was just to get the box on top of the car and centered up perfectly. Um, so you can see it's right smack in the middle. And you do this with no mounts yet. And basically what you're gonna end up doing is popping this guy open. Now we can go ahead and grab our clamp and pop this cap open, opening up this. And you're gonna wanna loosen this a bunch just to make sure it fits over your crossbars. I know mine are pretty thick, so I want this to be pretty nice and open like that. Then we're gonna grab this and put it through this slot right here. It's kind of tough to see. Let's see if I can. I'm gonna put it through this little slot that the air box has. There we go, just like that. And so if you look underneath, our claws are around the bar. And now we can come up here and tighten this guy. There we go. That's pretty tight. I might go around after all of them are done and re-tighten everything, make sure everything's good. But that's the basics. Now we just do it three more times and the ski box is installed. Look at that. After installing these mounting hooks, you go ahead and throw in this strap which goes from hook to hook. I'm not 100% sure what these are for in terms of maybe stopping rattling or if you put your boards and skis on top of this, it won't bounce as much. I'm not, or maybe you put them through it. I'm not 100% sure what they're for, but I guess I'll figure it out. Um, now I'm going to go grab a snowboard and put it in here so you guys can see how much space there is relative to a board. So as you can see I put my board in here uh, and we got plenty of room 
on both sides. Granted, I'm a smaller guy and I ride a small board, so this is only a 152, but definitely a lot of space. And uh, let's see, looks like it closes with a bunch of room on top, so you could definitely stack if you wanted to. But I think I think these straps are just for rattling, so you can put stuff on top because they're kind of bending inwards, and it looks like it's just to stop it from bouncing up and down in here all day. So I think I'm good with that, and it looks uh, it looks pretty nice. And there you have it, the ski box is installed, and boy, does it look good. I gotta say, in my opinion, this is probably the best looking ski box you could buy. It looks absolutely beautiful on the car. It's got that nice, sleek, aerodynamic look. It's got lots and lots of space on the interior, so you can put a bunch of boards, even though it looks pretty low profile. Not gonna be fitting any suitcases or anything like that, but plenty of skis, could probably throw some boots up in there. And uh, it makes pretty much like no wind sound, so driving around at like 30, 40 miles an hour, you hear nothing. And then even driving highway speeds, 75, you hear a bit of wind noise, but if you have any music playing or anything, you will not hear it. And honestly, like you can still have a conversation in the car, won't really hear it. When you're pushing 100, it's kind of notice noticeable. Not that I drive 100 on public roads, that would be ridiculous. Sorry, mom. But um, just for testing purposes, maybe I did once. But make sure you go check out all the other videos, we got the Rotary Miata, and uh, we also have the Black Miata, and lots of other things that are going on. So make sure to go check out all the other videos, and go support the channel. Check out finiteco.net, um, get clothing, hats, stickers, all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.